Martin Luther King Park in Oroville, California. Are you excited? Yeah! Woo! You can be my spark in the dark. I'm Steve, I'm with Steve's Pub and Grub. Um, when we bought this place, it was called the Bootlegger, and it was kind of a dive bar. But we bought it kind of to put the name Siva on there because it was my wife, she passed away after 25 years of marriage. Um, very good person, 40 years of friendship of mine. Uh, we were friends with kids. We made this bar into more of a venue to have fun, listen to music, versus a bar that likes to have alcohol for people to get drunk. It's, it's, it's not all about that, it's about having fun, doing live shows and entertainment. Um, it's a great place to come. Here we are in Chico, California. California. So we're in Gold Beach, Oregon, and it is, what day is it? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chloe. What has been the best experience on tour yet? Um, uh, I don't know. Rewind. You know The rain is falling on a gravel lane. Hello, uh, we're in Gold Beach, Oregon, and it's June 23rd, 19, no. June 23rd, yes, June 23rd. Three weeks ago, I think, we had about $2,000 worth of equipment stolen from us. They took some in your monitors, and my stick bag was also stolen, which I don't know why anyone would steal that. Something really cool that God is doing in our ministry. Um, totally, totally blew my mind when we were kind of doing our going away thing. We did a concert in the park and uh, so many people showed up. I mean, it was, uh, it was amazing actually. A family who owns a, local, a couple local restaurants, they donated all of their proceeds uh, to us that day. A friend of mine had sent me a message. Were you able to get all of the stolen equipment um, replaced that you had stolen and all that stuff? And, and um, I said, yeah. And they were like, wow. I don't want to sing a lullaby. Chloe. What's your name? Chloe. What's your name? Chloe. What's your name? Chloe. Don't wanna sing a lullaby. We're here in Root. We are here in Hood River at this huge Fourth of July um, celebration. Yeah.
don't want to sing a lullaby Cause I just want to sing my heart out Cause I don't want to sing a lullaby Cause I just want to sing my heart out Cause I don't want to sing my heart out We're Eric and Sylvia Ingebrets in Moscow, Idaho and we have had the privilege of having a lack of family, the entire lack family at our house for a whole week. We love it. We've known these guys for many years, and we are 110% behind their ministry. I'm, I'm also a musician, and that's one of the reasons I appreciate the lack so much and what they do. And I, I'm so blown away by their talent, because I understand it very well. And, uh, and I do, uh, I also like them, I use secular music and Christian music to try to reach out to people with the truths of God and, and the truths of the gospel and, and change as many lives as I can and in, try to introduce people to God. From the moment that Scott and I talked on the phone for the very first time, we knew the chemistry in that phone conversation. We knew we both had the same philosophy about how to do ministry and uh, pursuing the same kind of goals in the same ways. And so we've been buddies for, what is it, like 10 years now? So, you know? Hey guys. Um, oh man, we're about three weeks in now, I guess, and oh, it's been, it's been amazing and hard and all those good things. It's been a long, hot road already. Just kind of chilling for the day and we're getting ready to head to Moscow to play a church. This week has been really good. Man, God's just really opening up my eyes. It's been a long week. We've had a long week, and um, it's been a little challenging in different areas, but for the most part, it's been really, really good. I have to kind of like balance everything. The things that people are willing to share, to talk about, to tell about Christ, what He's done in their life, and then the different places that we've stayed have just been really, really awesome. What God is doing, He's how he puts us with certain people and, and we just, um, man. The blessing of being out on the road is sinking in. I don't know, now we're finding ourselves into the, the, the new schedule of, okay, you wake up and now you gotta hit the road. You gotta just constantly be on top of your game with how many miles your schedule, you don't wanna be late for setting up or something. It's a different way of living. Alaska, we're coming for you. I'm videotaping. Money will be fine. Life goes in circles, day after day. Just wanna get back to yesterday. Life's never simple, not always great.